Hi everybody, I'm Kim O'Rourke. I'm the recycling coordinator for the city of Middletown and welcome to Recreation Recycles. We're going to be doing a project, a recycling project, once a month and it may be a recycling craft, it may be a do-it-yourself project, uh, whatever it is it'll have an environmental theme to it and uh, we'll give you some tips about recycling and reducing waste and um, if you have any questions feel free to contact us so today is uh, january 2021 happy new year and we're actually going to be doing this cute little we're going to be putting together this cute little snowman which is made out of can you guess it's made out of a pill bottle and i chose a pill bottle craft because pill bottles are not recyclable they are, they are a plastic container, but they're under two inches in diameter. So what happens is if they get sent to the recycling facility, they fall through the cracks. The recycling facility is, uh, as you know, our papers, glass, uh, cans, plastic containers, they all go together. When they go to the recycling facility, they have to be separated out. And there's conveyors, and there's blowers, and there's magnets, and there's all sorts of equipment. And the bottom of the equipment is uh, screens, and the screens have two inch holes in them. So anything smaller than two inches will fall through the screen and end up in the residue. And they've had enough experience to know that pill bottles don't get recycled, they end up in the residue at the bottom and uh, that can contaminate the glass pieces and it ends up as trash. So pill bottles, if you can't reuse them and store stuff in them or use them for some other project, I actually use them for lots of little things like little safety pins or uh, what are these I think I stole because I had little googly eyes in them. They're great little containers to store things like that in uh, or you can use them for crafts. Um, if you can't reuse them, then they would go in the trash, sad. But today, we are gonna reuse our pill bottle and we're gonna turn it into this cute little snowman. So uh, the items that you need for the snowman, obviously you need a pill bottle, you need um, some miscellaneous buttons. So hopefully everybody has a jar of buttons that uh, they can pull from. I have to thank my friend for those because I couldn't find my jar of buttons. Some scrap felt. So I have pieces of scrap felt that I always keep around. If you don't have felt, you can use any kind of material. Uh, we need some paint. We need a glue gun and uh, some twigs for the arms. And I think that's everything. Oh, a marker to draw the face on. So it's a pretty simple craft, although I have to be honest, I'm a little nervous doing it in front of you, so we'll see how it comes out. But uh, we're gonna start by taking our pill bottle and painting it. And this actually was kind of fun. Uh, and I would recommend, you can use spray paint, or you can just use regular paint, and just paint the bottle. It's very relaxing. It's a good activity for 2021. And uh, I would also recommend doing a couple coats to make sure that your bottle is covered. So I'm gonna do this one. And then what I, and actually I would take the cap off and do all around the top, which I didn't do at first, so I'm gonna have to do it on the second coat. But uh, what I would do is do uh, paint a bottle let it dry for a little bit and then come back to it and do another coat and I happen to have another one here. So this one is ready to go. Now you're going to, you're going to also want to do the cap. So take the cap off and you're going to want to do the cap in black. And uh, again you can spray paint it if you want. I don't Spray paint. And I had this paint hanging around my house. I'm all about using what I have. If I don't have to buy it and I can use it, that's better than buying something new. Especially if you're only going to use it once and it's going to sit there. So the uh, cap you want all black. And 
again, you're going to want to do it a couple times to make sure that you have good coverage. So that is just about done. It's a little messy, but nothing wrong with that, right? And I'm going to set that there to dry. So that's the, uh, the, the cap in the bottom. Now, I'm going to take the one that I've already painted a couple times. And the next thing that we want to do is put on the buttons. Now, you can experiment here. They recommend putting on the buttons first, but I do wonder if it's better to put the scarf on first. But we're going to do the buttons. And I'm going to get my glasses. And the buttons, you just glue on. So I have a couple buttons here. And I'm going to take my glue gun. Just going to glue them on where I think they should go. So you just have to be a little careful if you're uh, working with younger people. If you have a, 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 a low temperature glue gun, that's perfect for your younger people. If not, you just want to make sure nobody gets their fingers burned. So those are my buttons. I have a little bit of glue hanging off. And let's get rid of that. And next, we're going to put our scarf on. And I have a blue scarf or a red scarf. I think I'm going to go with the red scarf this time. And this is, honestly, it's a little tricky, but it's not too bad. You just wrap it around the buttons. Your scarf has to, this, bo this uh, bottle I'm working with is a little, a little thicker than the other ones. So you just have to make sure the scarf is big enough. So I'm going to try to do that with the glue. Let's see how I do. I'm not going to say it's perfect. When I'm making crafts, I try to choose materials that are going to go in the trash. Um, because it's they're going to get trash anyway, and that helps reduce our trash. We do have a trash crisis in Connecticut. For uh, folks who haven't heard, we are soon going to be running out of space, and we all need to think about reducing the amount of trash that we throw away. So I'm going to attempt to put this on. I apologize if it's not perfect. Kind of want to set it so that you can still put the face on. So there we go. Okay, so we have a nice scarf. And now I'm going to put the arms on. So I got the scarf, I got the buttons. Now the arms are the funnest part because those are, I get to work with, I went out and collected some little twigs. Super fun. And I'm going to take, I'm going to cut. Hmm. Which one do I want? Oh, not so many choices. I guess I'll take these. They, don't, they won't have any fingers. And now these, I'm going to glue onto the side of the snowman. Again, we're working with the glue. And we're just going to glue it on. These are a little tricky. The arms are definitely a little delicate. And I would suggest gluing them on. And then you have to hold on to them for a little bit. And then you might even want to put a little extra glue on them after it hardens to make sure that they stay there. So we're going to let this set a little bit. Okay, I have a one-arm snowman. I'm now going to put on the second arm. Hopefully it'll be kind of in the same place, so it's not too uneven. Stick it in, and then I'm going to reinforce it with a little extra glue.
Okay, I got my two arms in. I'm gonna put my cap on. And I'm just gonna take a Sharpie. And I'm gonna draw a little face on them. super simple, pretty fun, easy craft that you can do with pill bottles that are difficult to recycle. We have a, um, a, a flyer which ex gives the instructions if you want it. It'll be on the Middletown Recreation website and it'll be on the Middletown Public Works uh, Recycling website as well and um, it gives you information on the materials you need and how to do it, which uh, as you just saw is pretty easy and kind of fun. You can actually do a family of snowmen. So thanks for watching. If you have recycling questions, feel free to send me an email and we'll be back next month with another project. Happy recycling and don't forget, reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink your waste. Thank you.